Daily Bread June 18, 2020 Daily Bread June 18, 2020 Thursday of 11th Week in Ordinary Time The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew When you pray, do not use a lot of words as the pagans do For they believe that the more they say, the more chance they have of being heard Do not be like them Your Father knows what you need even before you ask Him This then is how you should say Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our debts, as we forgive those who are in doubt to us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from the evil one. If you forgive others, and their wrongdoings. Your Father in heaven will also forgive yours. If you do not forgive others, then your Father will not forgive you. May you deepen your relationship with your Abba Father, who happens to be God, and may you seek justice as you share in God's work. Being just is not something we can do in and of ourselves. It comes from accepting the relationship which God desires to have with us. It demands that we keep holy God's name, seek to bring about the God's reign, and that we appreciate all the blessings which God gives us each and every day. We are required to extend the same love and forgiveness to others which we want to have extended to us from our Abba who happens to be the just God. In the Gospel, Jesus urged His disciples to be people of prayer. Prayer he informs them is not just a multiplication of words. It is a relationship with God. It is able to call upon God as Abba, Father, Daddy. As we call upon the Abba Father, who happens to be God, we are to first focus on what belongs to God, God's hallowed name, God's reign, God's will. If we focus on those things, we will be in relationship with God. We will be justified by God because we are seeking to do what God wants, not what we want. In Greek, each praise in the first part of this prayer which Jesus taught us ends with the word so of you. The focus is on God who is the you. If we trust this Abba who happens to be God, we will be provided with what we need each and every day. Our daily nourishment, what will take care of us and our present needs. We will not have to worry about tomorrow or the next day. God provides all that we need right now. In the second part of Lord's Prayer, the key pronouns is us or our. We focus on our relationship with our Abba. Notice 
It is not me or mine. Why write it with all we call upon the Father, who is God? Thus, we are also in relationship with all the children of God, everyone. This is part of the message that I hope has been driven home with all the protests that have been happening in the United States and throughout the world after the death of George Floyd. One thing we need each day is God's forgiveness. In this model prayer, which Jesus our Lord gave us, we ask God to forgive us in the same way as we forgive others. That has always been a bit scary for me. I know I have not always been as forgiving as I should. If God really forgives me in the same way I forgive others, then either I am in a big trouble or I better start being more forgiving. Our relationship with our Abba and with other children of our Abba are enhanced by our forgiving them and their forgiving us. As we continue this prayer to our Abba, who happens to be God, we ask that God leads us along the right path. God never leads us into sin, but God allows us to be tested by temptation, just as Jesus was tempted. If we keep our focus on the Lord Jesus, we will make it through any temptation that comes our way. We need to continually ask to be set free from the evil that is in our lives. The evil that is in our lives makes it hard to keep our eyes on the Master and His Abba, our Father. It is only as we are conscious of our relationship with the Master and with our Abba that we have a chance to experience being just. And it is then that we can rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. The personal question or action for today. Do I focus on the relationship I have with our Abba who happens to be God? Do I seek to bring others into that relationship so they too can experience what it means to call God our Father, our Daddy. What does it mean to me to say your name, your reign, your will be done? In what way have I experienced God providing me with my daily bread? How well do I forgive those who have crossed me? Can I continue to rejoice in God, not just for my own sake, but for the sake of others? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, our Father, our Abba. Through your goodness, your Son has told us to call upon you with these words. He has come to reveal the intimate relationship you want to have with us. Help us to keep your holy name and the holy name of your Son ever before us and on our lips in the form of praise and adoration. Through your Jesus, you have shown us a glimpse of your reign, your kingdom. We have only begun to understand what this means, your reigning in our lives. Give us the strength we need to do your will, just as your holy ones in heaven 
are doing your will, praising you and relating to you as their Abba. We thank you for providing us each and every day. You give us what we truly need, even if we are not aware of it or we want other things. We acknowledge our sinfulness and seek your forgiveness, knowing that we must try to imitate your graciousness as we deal with those who have grown us. Even though their transgressions are nowhere as serious as our wrongdoings and sins against you, we cannot stay faithful and untouched unless we have your help. Help us to stay focused on you and your loving relationship with us. That is the only thing that will keep us away from doing evil. We rejoice in you and thank you for the prayer which your Son has taught us and which enables us to be in relationship with you. We make this prayer and all prayers in the name of your Son, our Master, Teacher, and Loving Brother, who is reigning and living fully with you and your Holy Spirit in the reign to which we are called. For you are our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Chúa đầy lòng xót thương, 
Chúa thành lòng mình.